Hi everyone, and welcome back to this week's episode of the Real Talking Podcast with your hosts, Ash and JD. Mm. Now, this is take two, mm. so apologies for uh, anything that we might not be as enthusiastic about. Um, <laughs> do apologise, but uh, right, let's get back to the entertainment anyway. So, uh, going off of last week's uh, Crisp Saga, you know, yep. we had a bit of controversy uh, over that, didn't we? We've, yep. uh, Saying it how it is, that McCoys are man's crisps and uh, Yorkie bars are for men. Yeah. Um, I still stand by it because they are a bit masculine. They uh, claim to have all the flavour and be packed with it. Um, but what, what would be another man food? Uh, like, that's not like snacks or like food. What would you... If you think of man food, what would you think a man food would be? See, I think full English, like man food. Well, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's, uh, With black pudding, obviously. Yeah, you've got to have black pudding with your pudding. You know the man who's got to have black pudding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'd, I'd say, like, uh, anything barbecue as well. I've never done so, a barbecue. You're not yeah, man than yeah, I am. Yeah, I but mean... It's, it's, it's just the, it's the man's thing to do, isn't yeah. it? You sell the barbecue, you whack all the burgers and the hot dogs yeah. and that on. It's, uh, it's just man there. Yeah. Uh, my mate once said to me, you know, the man into you cut the grass while drinking a beer, and until you've done a barbecue. And so you've done two of those things. Then. I've cut the grass while having a beer. But no I didn't barbecue. even want a beer while I was doing it, <laughs> so I've done it just to <laughs> say I've done it. Um, but the barbecue, no. So we need to get you a barbecue, then, don't we? Yeah. So then you can tick that off the list. We are. Yeah, I should get a barbecue. We've been on a barbecue for a while now. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll say that for another episode. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah uh, so we thought we'd uh, give our top three uh, mm. crisps of what we like um, and then after we'll give a in the bean list as well yeah. crisps that shouldn't be just there shouldn't be, shouldn't be on the shelf just, just, just they're just, losing money no yeah. one's buying them what, what are what they being made yeah. let alone out there for human consumption. There shouldn't even be a concept of your meal deal. They shouldn't give you that option of just... Because all they're doing is make... It's like when... It's that movie where you think a girl's a 10 and for you is that... I'm just listening. No, it wasn't a movie, was it? It was on How I Met Your Mother. The, uh, the cheerleader effect. That's the one. So it's a group of girls and uh, collectively it looks like a group of hotties. Yeah. But when you actually sit back and look at them individually, yes. you're like... Nah, she's fucking this, mm. she's got that. You know, I'm not going to say any actual features because I don't want to offend anyone. Mm. Also, what a great show as well. It was, yeah. It's uh, How oh, are... better than Friends. Oh, Friends was... Well... <laughs> it doesn't... It doesn't <laughs> I don't know, we'll get yeah. on to the yeah. piece soon, yeah. yeah. Look, Friends, it's just overrated. Don't get me wrong, I did enjoy it enough to watch it, but uh, yeah, How Many More that? I can mm. just have that on repeat all the yeah. time, really. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. I've still not watched season two of How I Met Your Father, but I wasn't no, and I've, that I've, excited about the first season, really. I've, I think I already know who the dad's going to be in there. I don't know. I'll, I'll yeah. get around we'll to watching that. season yeah. two. Yeah. After you've watched it. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, because I already think I've already clocked who the dad's going to be. Same. So. Um, so, back to crisps. Crisp, yeah. yeah. That's what we're talking about today. Crisp talk. Crisp. Ash and JD. <laughs> uh, so, third on my list, I would go for discos. Mm. No, Mainly yeah. the salt and vinegar. Yeah. But. This, discos, these are packed crisp. Once you have one, you want to get another. Yeah. You, like, you can't just have one packet. If you have one packet of discos, there's something wrong with it. But you. I think with most of our choices, you're always going to grab the grab bag. You can't mm. just get the multi pack and just think yeah. one pack's going to satisfy yeah. me. Because it's all of them, it's just bags of air with just mm. a couple of crisps in. So we're always going for the big grab bags. Yeah, prawn cocktail ones, them are really nice. But yeah, it's all of vinegar or so. Yeah, prawn cocktail in general, I'm not much of a fan of. Uh, I'll eat them if, no, it's the only pack that's going, but yeah. Uh, Mainly the salt and vinegar, mm. but I find with them, well, to be fair, with most salt and vinegar crisps, really, ones that are actually packed with flavour, by the time you've eaten it, it's like it's taken a layer of skin 
Oh, yeah, I so, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. And like, I could feel it for days, just the healing process just going on. Yeah. yeah That's how crisps should do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't class uh, discos as man crisps, um, but they're, uh, they're family fun. The family fun crisps. Yeah. They're for discounts. <laughs> Problem solving, I kid. <laughs> uh, so, that's my number three. What's on yours? So, number three, mini cheddars. Mini cheddars. Mini cheddars. I mean, mini cheddars across the board. Mm-hmm. So cheese, Red Leicester, barbecue, cheese and onion, just joint fired. Just, just the perfect. And as I said, you just don't grab one. You grab about three. Yeah. Because you just literally, it is like a handful, any. Well, mini cheddars is one that you could literally, you could have all of the flavours and just put them in like a big. Like a fruit bowl. Yeah, and just what you have at the party and that. Mix all the flavours up and then everyone will be a little surprise. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a revel. Oh, that one's a beef. No, I never used to like revels. I never used to like coffee. But I wonder if I'd like them more now that... Yeah, you saying that, I've not had them since I've been an adult, just, really. Maybe yeah. Coffee. The coffee yeah, one you'd, you'd have that. Like, what is this Do you reckon flavor? the coffee one be the best one, that? Probably would, do. I think yeah. we'll have to go and get a pack after this. Revels. Yeah, so going on to number two for you. Number two is, it comes from the childhood, but Space Invaders, mm. or Space Raiders, whatever they're called. So it's the alien face crisps. Yeah. And mainly the pickled onion or the beef flavour. Yeah. So I know there's the spicy beef, yeah, I but do I'm, like not, I'm not much of a, a spicy fan because I just can't yeah. handle the heat. Also, also, <laughs> also, shout out to Transformers snack because that the I, Transformers. As I, well. I kind of like Excellent. think of them two as one crisp, even though they're not. The, I imagine you, it. You, uh, I don't know. If they're from the same franchise, aren't they? You I, I'm not they sure, are. but like I just when I think because you you get like two for fifty pence, they're probably like two for like because it used to be ten p a bag, didn't they? Yeah, but last time I was seen, there was two fifty pence on the transform. Yeah. I know on the Transformers snack, and I might be wrong on the. Well, I'm sure that the grab bags offer. It's still a pound. Great stuff. Yeah. But it, again, because with them, they just they actually feel filling as well, don't they? Yeah. Compared to like, you know your, your your general walkers, it's just you know you, you grab them, you, your mouth is full, you get it all stuck in between your teeth and that, and as a good pack of crisps as well should be, you're always wanting more. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's my number two there. Then. Yeah. So my number two. Pringles, prawn cocktail. Now, I, I didn't know if it'd be controversial, but I think we're in agreement that they're allowed. Yeah, they, they definitely are. Um, I mean, I know we shouldn't use it at all, but they are sold on the crisp oil. Mm. Uh, the class is a crisp, even though it's like the, there's less potato in them than every other ingredient. Yeah, and Pringles is like, you know, they're not an everyday crisp, are they? Well, no. So, Pringles is more number one on the list. Mm. And especially these days, they are more of a luxury item yeah. because of the price. You know, you're lucky to get them for £2 when they're not on sale. And then, I think the other day I saw the, the whole grains on sale for like £1.15 or something. But those flavours are just not as nice as the no. original Pringles. No. Um, but there's that many flavours of the Pringles now as well, though, isn't it? Um, yeah, you got toy. Uh, I think you got toy switch today. And then you got barbecues. Yeah, there's all the barbecues. Um, oh, yeah, there is a few, isn't there? Yeah, but the main one, my main go to, go to with the Pringles is the smoky bacon. Because mm. it's just, uh, as a child, smoky bacon was my smoky bacon. main flavour of crisp that I would always have. Um, I didn't really get into cheese and onion until I was like, you know, 12 or something, but smoky bacon was just the one. And then roast chicken. That doesn't get its, its dues as yeah. much as it should do. Um, I mean, yeah, the walkers, it's always going to be like, you know, the top tier of crisp, really. But everyone wants them. Mm. And it's, it's a bit of a, a show off like, oh, I've got a bag of walkers. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what, what was your number one? So, my number one grab bag, flaming hot, Monster Munch. Monster just lunch. should be everyone's number one just proper man crisp as well I'd like to think well yeah so again not as the spicy beef 
but as the normal pickled onion yeah pickled onion is nice yeah I'd have them all the time yeah. they're just funny little because it's meant to be meant to be a monster but it looks like a little hand doesn't it yeah yeah you know uh, I suppose some could say it's uh, the start of someone's hair transplant surgery <laughs> with the little spots sticking up off the top um, but yeah you can't go wrong again it's another crisp that it's it's filling and again what you need off a good pack of crisps your hands are filthy you've got to lick your fingers yeah. clean afterwards you know and that's that's what you want yeah. so uh, so I think number one that yeah I think that's the right order I think yeah yeah there's there's a, a good few more that we could have added into our list but uh, you know we don't want to be like everyone else and have a top five yeah you know just three that's three. enough no point going on and on about the same things over and over. If you have a top five, you might as well have a top ten. Yeah. You might as well. <laughs> Where'd you stop? Oh, fuck it. It's not top of the pops. Come on. Yeah. Well, going on to <laughs> shit crisps. So, and the most obvious ready salted walkers. We touched on it. If it's part of your meal deal, there's something wrong with you. Yeah. If you want to be a plain Jane, just, just don't, don't go there. Who, no need. Just, just stop them. You know? And who buys the six pack of ready salted? Again, who would intend oh my God. I just don't know why it's even an option as a multi yeah yeah and they should charge you more for having really solid yeah because they should be charged more because why are people buying it for it to be the same price mm. as the rest of them it yeah. cost more because there's less of them sold yeah and more when it comes to the multi pack you'll get them where it's two cheese and onion two salt and vinegar and two ready salted why do I want four lots of salted crisps mm. I just want two of each flavour. Yeah. Because at least we, when you do get them sort of multi packs, you get you are having your two packs that you're gonna inevitably have. Maybe three or four, depending on how long you're on. But snacker jacks, they're not a crisp, the popcorn no. that have just been stuck together with someone's jizz that works in a factory that pops all the corns. And it's well, don't care if it's the little ones or the big ones, they're not crisps, the popcorn. Yeah. They're just popcorn or you know yeah they might be healthy or whatever but they're not the shit yeah i mean to be fair i do love them but they're not crisps they're not crisps they're not crisps but shit crisps tangy toms now tangy toms as a kid used to be flavorful yeah now they just taste like cardboard now they die and the palm bears as well they wow. used to be nice as a kid that, yeah but, but it's just like they're just flavorless it's yeah. just oh and those snaps you remember snaps, snaps. Like, oh that was nice uh, did they even do them anymore can't say I've seen them. Oh, that was nice as well. Yeah. But well, we're on about shit crisps now. Shit we ain't got a top five. No. Uh, again, something that it's classed as, as a crisp, but it's not a crisp in my eyes. Doritos. You don't like Doritos? No, or you just don't think they should be classed as crisps? They're not crisps. They're condiment to dip with your salsas and stuff. Mm. You know, I, I don't see why anyone would grab it bag of Doritos and just eat it on its own because you can't that that's one that you would have to have just a small bag you can't have a grab bag of that and just scrap it all on its own I've done that draw. no I've done that many times on the flaming hot ones and the tang of cheese but yeah yeah so if it was the, the flaming hot and the, the, the extra cheeses or yeah but if it's just the plain Dorito mm. or you uh, call ranch or something like there's, there's no flavour to them they're just dry also when I think of Doritos I think of like cinema yeah. Who the fuck is paying four no three ninety nine now for a pack of Doritos at the cinema? Honestly. But if you, if you're doing that, you nacho them up because that's what yeah. they are. Yeah. Nacho. You know, Jay, I'm 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 gonna say when I go to the cinema now, mm -hmm. I pre buy my food. You and pre buy it with your ticket. No, no, you mean? no. You come I, in with your own stuff. I get it from elsewhere. Yeah. Because I used to be yeah. You know, Tango Ice Blast. Mm -hmm. I think these do a meal uh, it was like a meal do Tango Ice Blast crisps and also like you know you grab bags sweets chocolates whispers, yeah, you where you get like about 10 or something in there yeah. like, so now oh that's 3 99 and I think the drink now is 6 99 mm -hmm. fuck that literally pound B&M 125 for the whisper things yeah one pound I think of a one pound if they're on a fat the grab bag just it's, it's not right. It's, it's just, a no just. I think it's because we was all misled when we was younger, as if it was like illegal. You got to get arrested yeah, yeah. for taking your own food in. But when you actually do your research, it does actually say that 
you're allowed to take your own yeah. food. When in. I was a kid and my mum done it, I was a bit embarrassed, but... Yeah, because it's like, it did yeah, seem like a bit of a tight thing to do back in the day, and but... Also, uh, do you like popcorn? I'm not a fan of no, it. No, I don't like it, so it's like, if you're not having the popcorn, you might as well just take your own Yeah. Seat. Look, if... I still get a drink, I still get the ice bath. To be fair, I'll, I'll, I'll get the drink, just because I'll... I'll have the big drink and it lasts me yeah, yeah. the need, whole time. Yeah, you need and a big the, drink, you need to get a big, yeah. Yeah, and with the machines these days, because you all ought to go for the Sprite and add in Ooh, like a bit of peach or a bit of strawberry with it or something. Yeah. So oh. it's just, it's it's a drink that you're not going to find on the shelf when you're walking around to get your pre-drink. Can uh, we also pre-foods. talk about what they take away for fat fivers now? So KFC one do Pepsi. They do Pepsi Max. Okay. I mean... I, I can't stand Pepsi Max. Uh, I prefer Max over standard, but it's not a deal breaker. Yeah. I'll have both. And also at the cinema, they don't do Coke sometimes. They do Diet Coke and... Um, Coke Zero. Coke Zero. Yeah. Then you add the flavour to the Coke Zero, but they won't do Coca-Cola. And then when you pay for Coca-Cola at McDonald's, they charge 25 pence. No, 20 pence, sorry now. 12 Coke. They charge you more to have Coke. See, I've not noticed that. Yeah. So I think you pay more. So uh, if you get like a, a big fat meal, you pay more to have a milkshake. Yeah, no, so if you have a Coke, it's 20 pence more because it's sugar tax or something like that. Good, yeah. yeah, so. I'm glad that I don't drink much fizzy pops then. <laughs> but look, for me, when I, it has to be. I can't drink the diet stuff. I can, it you blows just, me. It just. Yeah. It, it just regional. it just it just feels like fizz. yeah. I, I, yeah. I, so I know we went off topic. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it was towards the end of the uh, yeah the, in the bin crisp. Really but well, can but you think of any more crisps to put in the bin? Um, I mean, apart from look, like, just stupid flavors that should never have existed. Really, look. Like, uh, I mean, because I was never a fan of the Worcester short uh, Worcester sauce oh, one. No, that was which, uh, that was great. Yeah, Worcester. What's the Shire for the American listeners? I don't know how they can't pronounce it. It's not mm. hard, you know. Uh, but yeah, the Worcestershire uh, sauce crisp. I was never a, fa- a fan of that flavour. The barbecue. Uh, I never really liked that of the Walkers either. Um, I mean, it was okay. It was never my go-to choice. Um, Walkers have some had some funky flavours, and now because they've always done those clubs. Where they done, uh, was it the KFC? KFC, no, that that was a, that one, Walkers, was it? No, that wasn't Walkers. But does, they used to do the competitions as well, yeah. though, didn't they? Do you remember when you used to get the 20 quid? You could win 20 quid from them back in the day. Yeah, yeah, I remember, because it was like a little blue pack, wasn't it? And you'd uh, it, sometimes find a fiver in there or a voucher for a free pack and that. Uh, also, why don't cereals do gifts anymore? Did, do you I, remember? I, I remember asking myself this question years ago. When did that not become, you think there's a generation of kids they don't know about it. They don't know. In your cereal. Yeah. You could, I know. If, if you've got brothers, you dig it in to find it. Yeah. But there's the generation of kids that have never known the lie of pouring cereal, a good brand if you was lucky. And also, a good brand cereal used to be like sacred in our house. Yeah. But Cocoa it, Pops, Weedos. Yeah. But no, there's next to no difference compared mm. to like, the Aldi yeah. brands, the cheap brands. Yeah, I think the brought up or they've come down or yeah, they've made you're literally somewhere. just paying for the name yeah. when it comes to anything like that but, but yeah I, I, I used to enjoy it I think that's the reason why if when I do have cereal it's not a poxy little like the recommended portion of like yeah. 40 grams or whatever the bowl's full yeah. and it's swimming in milk because you'd have to pour out loads if you was fortunate to be on your own with a, a toy in a bag you'd pour out loads in that hope oh yeah, yeah this is my toy now and it's fed into my bowl or grab like grab it out the box and kind of like shake to see where yeah, it is. Yeah, because like if if you saw it to the side of the pack, you try and like shake it all yeah. around to get it to the top so it will fall in your bowl. It's kind of like the equivalent if you go to the gym and you brought protein, you're trying to find the scooper because that even though it's not clear, you kind of shake it. Yeah. To get the scoop. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. The, uh, a lot of it, it's just. It's, it's the same as with the downsizing with the, the chocolate bars and that as well. I remember like, you know, when we was kids, we'd buy a Mars bar and it'd be like the size of your hand. It was yeah. a good like four or five inches long. And now it's like three. 
Yeah, it's, it's not just, even a fun size, and it's just fucking it's ridiculous. You're still paying more for less. Yeah, and I always feel that with McDonald's, but I don't know if that's because you're a kid that a Big Mac seemed. They're, no, they're definitely smaller because that's why with the Grand Big Mac when that's yeah, it, added, lo- it used to look that's, like that. that's the size yeah. of the original Big Macs. Because uh, again, with the chicken sandwich, I remember when they first come out, the the chicken was hanging over the bread, well, completely all the way over across the bun. But then, now, it's, you're basically just getting a chicken mayo. Yeah. It's fucking... And the chicken legends, when, I know they don't do them no more, but when they first come out, they were massive. But then nah, nothing now. Nah. Also, it's I know we, we are going to be off topic. KFC used to do an absolute amazing box meal. Yeah. And it was called the Hot Rods box meal. The Hot Rods, Oh, yeah. with the, the chicken, oh my God, and the mm. barbecue rancher box meal. Yeah. Where the fuck are they gone? And why did it? Why did it ever think? Let's get rid of this. Just, just let's get rid of this extra flyer. Yeah. Fucking hell. Well, because again, the zinger meal. Never really been a fan of that. Um, but I mean, I haven't had a KFC for a long time. Like just purely expensive. because of price. Yeah. yeah, it's ridiculous. I remember I used to go to KFC. I'd be able to get bonus chicken banquet. Yeah. And I'd still have uh, change for an extra popcorn chicken or like a chicken select or something. And I'd get the change still yeah. from £10. I think you Yeah, that's probably like £19. Yeah, I think the, <laughs> but you won't be far. I think the box meal used to be 5 99 for the bonus banquet. Yeah. And the popcorn chicken was, I think, one for the, one for the large. It was, yeah, oh, for the large. Yeah, maybe for the large, one I think it was like. Uh, yeah, it was two pound at one yeah, point. Because it, it and was, it, yeah, because it was. It went up to like two forty or yeah. something. A lot, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, nah, just nah, fuck that. I know, but they're all expensive now, aren't they? Uh, you know, but I, I don't tend to go to them ones often, really. The McDonald's and the KFCs. I, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do more of the uh, the splurging out ones where it's these fancy burger joint ones. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know the name of the place now, actually, but. Yeah, I feel like quality burger yeah, I feel like, like independent burger bars now. Fast, like the independent ones yeah. are, are really tasteful now. Yeah, they're up in the game. So I know we've spoke about it a few times. Uh, I still don't think you've had the privilege yet, but German doner kebab. Yeah, just because I know it's a bit expensive, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's pricey, but they are the best kebabs out there. Mm-hmm. You know, the, just the presentation alone. Yeah, that's that's why you're paying more but, of the yeah. premium price because it's like a, an un unwrapping like youtube video or something because you get this whole box and then you open your fat kebab loads of bloody sauce and if you want your salad and all that in it as well that's in there you know the flavor's good on it you get uh two spring rolls of either the chicken or the donna uh, like the lamb donna meat in there as well and uh your fries and you get a selection of dips and that as well mm-hmm. uh yeah you can't knock it and then they actually do uh, all sorts of like, party meal deals and all that as well. The price is quite good. It, it's To be honest, it's cheaper than KFC. Yeah, so, well, I ain't surprised. Okay. Yeah. I mean, but just going on, obviously we talked about, obviously, fast food and chocolate. Mm-hmm. Have you ever had a deep fried Snickers? No. Mate, I had one once, and I can't remember where. It was in the countryside, and it's the most perfect, Really? Oh, I didn't think you'd uh, enjoy it, to be honest. No, there's... Well, if you have Japanese food, they do a thing called deep fried ice cream. Oh, which, yeah, I've yeah, seen it. I've it, it shouldn't work, but mm. it does. But... Oh, and I, Every now and again, I'll Google, you know, deep fried Snickers near me. Mm. And like, they're not coming up with legit places, just like your normal chippy or whatever. See, I remember when this become a thing, because it was... When we was in school, probably like 12, 13 or so, and... It started off in Scotland. Yeah, it's I think a deep fried Mars bar. Yeah, so I for anyone that doesn't know, it's uh, it's basically like the fish batter. What they yeah. what they put uh, batter fish in and battered sausages at a chip shop. Uh, so they originally started off with the Mars bar yeah. in Scotland, and then it was just out of nowhere, everything was getting battered. Yeah. I know in Scotland they do deep fried cream eggs around Easter. Yeah. That's what I... I that, bet if they could, the deep fried iron brew as well, wouldn't you know, I've seen a thing on uh, on TikTok about... Well, put the wood down, you know, the yeah. iron brew, I think of that. Um, mm. Deep fried lasagna. 
again oh, I have seen a, a YouTube video of and, it. and that was from an independent restaurant and to be fair it was in I want to say I was in oh, I can't remember where it was but anyway you know when you come across TikTok and you watch one and so mm-hmm. it comes up but there was this uh, joint in Boiling and they do these big fuck off sandwiches the one I'm going off topic and he went where you do your deep fry mm. well, fuck me it was like that jar like, I mean it was like a brick full sandwich yeah it, oh fuck me there's nothing like that in there boy wait I know it's we, probably easy in town but you don't want to fucking no, no. but yeah there's, there, there is some uh, mad places that have got some weird like delicacies there's a it's like the Wigan is it the Wigan Balm or something where basically it's just a meat and potato pie in a bun, a burger bun, or a okay. sandwich. Right. Um, so yeah, apparently it's nice, but I, I don't see why With the you... gravy. Because yeah, yeah. So the, the pie's already you... got the gravy inside of it. So it's it's like a pucker pie, but yeah. like it's, it's uh, like ones that you get at football grounds. Yeah. So meat and potato with the gravy in it, and then it's just slapped in a cup or a batch, whatever, wherever you come from. What you put a burger on, or in between slices of bread, and then you just eat it like a sandwich. Right, I've never said no. Yeah, it's, it's it's like a Wigan batch or Wigan balm or something. It's it's strange, but everyone that I've seen that's like gone to have one has raved that it's it's really nice. Well, also, if anyone does know where to get deep fried Snickers <laughs> or Mars bar in the West Midlands area, email us please, because I am I do want one. I'm, it's made me think that I want one more thinking about it. I think you need to just get yourself a deep fry machine, don't you? Oh no, I might have to do deep fry anything. It's so bad for you. I oh, know. It's uh, like, yeah, you just want to, you want to, you don't want to be cal- cal- calorie counting there. No. Nah. Well, look, because I know you don't watch a great deal of YouTube, but did you ever see any of the uh, Epic Meal Tom? No. So uh, it's a bunch of Canadian lads, and they would take just a standard meal and make it massive. So not just like super size, it would be bigger than this table. Like man versus food size? No, even bigger than that. Like ridiculous stuff. But they used to do a lot of uh, stuff like that. They, they did a random deep frying stuff. And uh, I think they did, it was like the uh, most layered lasagna or something that they did as well. Like it was literally like a world record at, at that point. Um, but to be fair, a lot of the stuff that they did looked nice. And it, it, at the end of it, look, it'd be all five or six of them that would just be grabbing fistfuls and just ramming it down their throats. And uh, it's just one of them ones you'd always just feel hungry while you're watching yeah. it. Well, I used to make the, the mistake, and it was such an ugly mistake, of watching Man vs. Food before mm-hmm. shopping on a Sunday when we do shopping on a Sunday. But I, I do it a lot, not with Man vs. Food. I, I did used to do that as well or watch that all the time when you're hungry and that but uh, so while I'm still doing the intermittent fasting um, I, I'll sit there and I'll watch uh, Beard Meats Food where mm. he's, well, he's one of the uh, professional eaters and does all the challenges and that so I'll watch him and then I'll watch all other recipes and stuff and it's not hours before I'm about to start eating and I'll, you know once you, your mind starts going that you, you're looking at the food and you want to eat that and you start feeling hungry it's just torture but, uh, it is funny though but, uh, how, how some of these people with their professional eating just go through so much food mm. it's uh, Randy Santal American geezer he was, he was uh, like Mr Atlantis or something um, you know like with the bodybuilding shows yeah. and it's all the, the muscles and that um, and the, the food that he puts away ridiculous the one that i saw the other day like 20 burger patties got like all with extra cheese and this and that and all the sides and it's like a whole hour and even he struggled to eat everything that was there at the end i don't know how to do it no fuck you know but, uh, i mean that's that's serious dedication as well because again with beer meats food he uh he does fast so it's literally he'll have that ten thousand calorie meal and that and then he won't eat right. for two days yeah right, well you don't need to do yeah no nah, but he look, he does all his training and that he's, he's uh he's in shape and we're well, fair play to these people a lot of the youtubers that all got into shape and everything you know it's nice when you're rich and you've got all the time to just be in the gym all day isn't it i've never really yeah i mean i've never really been into you I, I don't know what i know 
I've done, I've done it once or twice where you go to a black hole on YouTube and you just go, but I suppose that's TikTok now, isn't it? Yeah, TikTok's the one for that now. Yeah. Um, I mean, a, a lot of it is uh, for when I'm just like pottering around. Uh, I listen to podcasts on there as well, to be fair. Um, but yeah, pottering around, it's just on in the background. Um, and as I've mentioned before, Mark Goldbridge, yeah. the United Stand and that's football. Just yeah. that on YouTube all the time, really. Well, because obviously, you just touch on podcasts. Obviously, if you listen to number one, which was a hot, of our one, which is a hard listener, I must admit. Obviously, we touched there that I've never listened to a podcast before. Before we started. We start. But now, it's all I listen to. And I come across one that I, I, I was called the Hot Wives Podcast. Now, do you know well, what? Hot... I've seen a couple of clips all right. on uh, TikTok of them. So it's the two women sitting there, isn't it? I, I don't. I've I've never seen what they look like. I've only listened to it. But it is, it's it's two women. It's just two women, yeah. Already, and they chat shit as well. Yeah. Don't so do you know what a, a hot wife is? Uh, so I know I've heard the term. It's not what you're thinking, is it? Where it's just the wife's a good-looking woman. No, no. Basically, a hot wife is a hot mess. So it, she's, it's she's basically chaotic. No, a hot wife podcast is basically so. A hot wife is someone who's allowed to sleep with other people, but he's nice. married or partner up, and that I don't know if it's not open race. It's just a wife that can do it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, essentially, it's a a, a a less derogative term for a cuckolding relationship. Well, here's the thing: it's not a cuckold because. They do discuss this, Jay. Okay. So a cuckold is where you're present. The the hot wives, you're not present. You don't even have. I don't know if they, I suppose we'll have to tell them that what they've done. But yeah. I think a cuckold, it's it's the visualization you being present. Where a hot wife is, she gets to die over people. I mean, I, I imagine there's it's, loads of terms. Yeah, I, I mean, to me, it's just still the same thing, really, isn't it? You know, you're allowing your your wife to get banged by other people. Mm. Um, but I mean, it's not more a bag of grease. Yeah. yeah, but I just so I listen to that, and that's a weird thing to listen to. Um, I've, I've, as I say, I've seen a couple of the little TikTok clips, and some of the stuff that come out is just stupid. You think fucking hell. Um, it, look, one that I did see the other day, I did actually laugh. Uh, so it's every time because it's like what we do, it's recorded in the one person's house. Yeah. So every time the other one goes to that said person's house. She always has a fat shit. What? Like, so she just goes goes into the house. So it's not me as if I'm coming in, going straight to your toilet and just banging out a fat shit. But why not do it before she leaves? She What's finds that? it funny. Like, that's what that's because so it was literally like she was saying, I've only just found you safe, but every time you come to my house, you have a shit and it disgusts me. I can't believe you do it. And she's like, Why'd you do it? She's like, it's funny. I, wow. I just find it funny. You know, I'll stink out your bathroom and then we do the record. So, no, that does... Nah, I, I, you know, I, I wouldn't plan on doing that here. I mean, I have pooped here, but, mm. you know, I'm not bragging about it and doing it in secret. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but it just, because obviously it was on about black holes, and obviously it got me on a black hole of podcast then, because mm. then I was just, it just got me listening to, like, that kind of stuff as a podcast. And I thought, you know what, our podcast is alright. Because I've listened to a few podcasts, and I've mentioned it before, some of them have, have won awards, and I'm like, fuck me, it's a pile of shit this is. Hi everyone, it's me, this is me face. Just want to remind you, we want you to send in any questions that you might have, uh, any topics you want us to talk about. Uh, email us at realtalkingpod at gmail.com. Tweet us, it's Ash and JD. That's the Twitter handle. Uh, so literally anything that you might have, uh, just say hello. Yeah, literally, don't doesn't matter to us. Send them in. See ya. Yeah. Oh. Well, speaking of award-winning podcasts, I do just want to uh, give out a shout to Adam Rowe of the uh, Have a Word podcast because he's obviously a listener. He um, brought up on uh, Monday's episode. He touched onto your theory about the Titan uh, submarine. There's a conspiracy in everything, mate. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, he's, he's the first person to actually come out with that. 
Uh, I said the one. same thing? Yeah, yeah. I felt uh, like. There was actually a couple of things in that episode that uh, we touched on in previous episodes. Do you reckon, so, this, if, do you reckon he's listening? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, brought more? lead. Um, to be fair, he's a funny gigs. Do you reckon uh, he's Danny G? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, 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 I think he'd uh, I think he'd actually just say that he's he's Adam Rowe Rowey Bags. Um and to be fair he wouldn't email him, he's not that kind of person, mm. he's he's too lazy to do anything. Right. But, uh, but speaking of Danny G then See that's segue Joe. Oh I love your segue is there, kid. Um See so, also as well <laughs> up into JD mentioned Segway on a few episodes and I had no idea what he was on about <laughs> and he went into the sort of distance podcast that, I, that I, someone said anything because you like that segue I understand the <laughs> reference now <laughs> now yeah yeah you gotta uh, you gotta just smooth That's into it. these different topic, uh, topics haven't you uh, <laughs> so yeah Danny G our guy our man uh, so he's asked us another question oh. uh, if you could go back to any point in your past for an hour just to relive and uh, just to relive it but not change anything what would that be so yeah i've got i've got one i had a as i saw the email i had a quick thought um and i know this is going to sound a bit gay now uh but i'd go back to my wedding day mm. But not for the reason that most people would be thinking, you know, or in general people would be thinking of, oh yeah, you know, the moment that you saw your, your wife to be walking up the aisle or whatever. No. For the food. Oh, the food. I would have known food. Yeah. when I was sitting there that if I had that limited amount of time yeah. to eat that food, yeah. I would have fucking cherished it. Because so for when I got married, for everyone that doesn't know, um, that was the main thing that I had uh, my opinion on, even though I found the venue, um, was the food because it's one of the worst things ever. You go to a wedding or somewhere like that and you've you got the meal included and it's a poxy piece of little chicken and two potatoes and everyone's still starving at the end yeah, of the week. Yeah. So, no, I want everyone to be full. So I chose, essentially it was a DIY carvery. So every table had their own slab of meat. It was beef? Oh, no, it was there was a mix of uh, beef and lamb. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so then, well, you know, bowls full of different veg and all that as well. So you, every table, cut yourself a bit of meat, grab your potatoes, your carrots, whatever and that, and fucking scrand it. And the potato. Oh. Oh. Or yeah, the, yeah, uh, potato dolph, dolph and wild wasn't it? Oh, that was really, quality with as the well. Gr- oh mate, yeah, yeah. Oh, even your desserts, I had colours. It was that nice. Yeah, uh, to be fair, I only had a touch of mine. Um, yeah, a little uh, chocolate cake uh, dessert that I had. Oh, I don't even know what the other options of the desserts were. To be fair, I just had a little chocolate I, bit of mine. I'm sure one was cheesecake. Probably was. Um, it was just the main course, yeah. that was the main thing that I wanted to be involved oh, with. And the pizzas at the end? Pizzas on the night time took, as well. Took two boxes on, mate. Yeah, so there was uh, your standards, uh, <laughs> margarita, a pepperoni one. I don't know what the third choice was. No, I just remember taking on. Um, it might have been three pizzas I took on. I'm sure you took three yeah. because you had one in the taxi that you shared with, well, tried to share with the taxi driver, didn't you? At least that's what I was told. Um, but that was that was the main thing. If, if I could go back, uh, well, it would either be for the meal or my speech. Yeah, off, off the cuff. Yeah, because yeah. I, I had a rough idea of what I was gonna say, but at that point, I'd already had a good few drinks, and I just fucking rattled out. Also, going back to that, it'd be nice to have that whiskey again. Yeah. That no, no. I want to get this right. McLen- I can't pronounce it, Joe. It's called McLennan's. I want to say yeah, it's called McLennan's, it but it was like it was like a twenty-five year bottle. It was, it was, it was a vintage, yeah. Anyway, it, wasn't, yeah. And yeah. obviously, on the tab, of course. Yeah. Um, that was going down, but that the whole lot was though, weren't it? I mean, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll I'll ask the question back to you again in a minute. I'm just reminiscing about the day because it was it was funny because there was the whole saga before the uh, the actual wedding because mm. of the other best man and the timing. Because 
But there's confusion of actually what time. Do you remember? Yeah, we, there was a little bit, yeah. Because your um, sister got there. I was like, it, it starts at this time, which I'm sure was like half an hour difference to what? Yeah, my sister and dad got there about an hour before everyone else. Yeah. Um, yeah, we did. With the other best man not getting, well, not checking his shirt as he's bought his suit and everything. So there was the running around, first of all, trying to get that. Also, why did you run around to get his shirt? And why didn't he just get himself a shirt? Because he was travelling with me, because that was obviously coming from Cov. I yeah, so he came here, then he got changed here and noticed his shirt was ripped, and then me and you went out to get it rather than him. Because he was ironing everything else, weren't he? No, he was ready. He just had the shirt on. He was ready to go. Well, again, he was stand- we, we were drink- the only two with the vehicles as well, though, weren't we? We got a taxi? No, nah, not up to charge with that. When we were trying to buy him a shirt. Oh, no, you drove. Yeah, so I yeah, was yeah. that first. But why didn't you just drive the van? I don't know, mate. It was just slow at the moment, wasn't it? It was like, it yeah, was it just, was backwards. It was absolutely. panic. Yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah. So he messed that up. And then everyone, as we've pulled up, because I was just in shorts and a t shirt, so everyone was like panicking, like, oh, what's going on? Mm. Why are you dressed? And uh, then with the people saying, oh, I can't drink in there before the actual wedding, which uh, that just went out the window because I did start drinking. Mm hmm. And I just remember, every time anyone saw me with nothing on my hands, I was just getting pandied a pint of Guinness. And like, towards the end of the night, when I'm mingling with everyone, I literally had a pint on every table. Because I'd have one in my hands, there'd be one on that table, I'd have a swig of that, and then I'd walk off with the other one. And it was just ridiculous yeah. and relentless. And I, I know I'd put about £400 behind the bar. Yeah, and then... I... John put a few hundred behind in that as well. Everyone had an initial free drink. So, yeah, there was a free drink, and then there was a top table tap and an yeah. open tap. Mm-hmm. And then one of our lot put, I'm sure you came as well, and you and him put another 200 or 100 quid each behind the bar just mm-hmm. for like the lads there. Yeah, yeah. I fucking hell. I yeah. remember as well, I went to the lady, how much is left? It's like seven pound. I was like, can I have a ripple? <laughs> Finished it off. <laughs> Took that off for the next day. Look at that. I just, I knew and I would need it in the morning. Yeah. But yeah, oh, that, that whiskey. Yeah, just go back and have food and that whiskey. Yeah. Oh, I don't sh- even remember having any of the pizza, to be honest. Um, But obviously it was good because that was a good thing about it that you had the takeaway boxes. Yeah, even so even extras. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, no. And I had a free f- breakfast the next morning then. Oh, did you? Yeah, was, was the where, breakfast as nice as the? It, it was edible. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah uh, generic pub breakfast, to be fair. Oh, fair um, Because it was where some of the people were staying down the road. Uh, we went and met them for breakfast. And um, yeah, it was like, the manager just says, oh, are you the bride and groom then? I was still in my suit because I'd left my bag of clothes at the venue. Mm. You was yeah, you was you was uh, in good spirits when you left. Yeah, it was good night. Yeah, good day to be fair. But yeah, definitely the food that'd be a uh, the main thing. Because I, I just remembered well, because I finished the first little portion of it and everyone's coming over talking and that, and then mm. I turn around and the plate's gone. I was like, oh, but I wanted more. Yeah, it was so not after me. It, it was really nice food. It but honestly it's making me want to have the same meal, but it yeah. just wouldn't be the same. You know, I wouldn't like to go back to this the speech part because it, up into the speech, I mean <laughs> this is why I don't know if this McCain's drink was so nice or I was that nervous, it made it nice. Because as a whiskey I'm not a whiskey drinker, but to drink it straight. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh I just yeah. ma- whiskey it is an acquired taste, definitely. But this this one just was like it was smooth, wasn't it? Yeah. And it wasn't harsh on the back of the throat. And I've, got, you know, I remember when I was doing this speech, not to be, I didn't want to be fucked, but I know I needed to be at a certain level. Have a level. bit of Dutch courage. Yeah, yeah. And I remember going in, um, having the complimentary drink, which I think was a Corona. Though, because it was there was bottles of wine. Uh, yeah. So the bottles were beer Moretti. And I don't know what the one was. Oh, so it was beer Morelli I had. Yeah. And I just remember, I remember I had a few beers and I remember thinking, as I'm doing a speech, I've had seven whiskeys. <laughs> and I, I was so nervous. But to be fair, like, 
you know, you, you, it's not like you were slurring your words or anything. No, 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 no. Yeah. It just, um, I was De- in that definitely point. took the edge off, yeah. Yeah, oh, mate. Yeah. So nervous. And then he was all the announcements that I didn't really know yeah. I had to do as well. Oh, I was so scared. Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah. no it that, yeah. Was, it was a good day, though, yeah. yeah. So that would be my hour to go back and enjoy the food. Okay. I know if I could go back to an hour, I think it was my 21st birthday. Okay. And I feel like it was the only birthday where all the lads, everyone went out. I remember even, um, there's a picture, the whole lot was there. Is that when we started off? Uh, at the mill house. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, because uh, Daniel was there and that as well, weren't it? I That's what I'm saying. That you're on yeah. About, yeah. And I'm saying this, I just thought, the one, obviously when you go out, there's always nights where lads don't make, whatever, but I just remember this one night, everyone came out, and this obviously before WhatsApp, so you had to actually contact an individual. Yeah, it was still mainly phone calls. Yeah. Not as much as the texting. No. It was still a bit of a chore to text. Yeah. And I, I, it was just a good night. It was just, it was, I just remember thinking in that moment, it was the best night at that moment. Yeah, because it even started off saying, because like, the initial of everyone meeting up, and then you getting straight into the mood. Straight on it, yeah. Because um, did we go to Solio that night? He went to Solio, and I remember, it was one of the few nights, I, I can't remember, because I, I don't know, like getting drunk when, when we go out to clubs or anything like that. Well, I know there was no dramas anyway. No, no. But... I can't remember for some of those. I remember the next day, some lads were like, Do you remember this? No, I had no. Well, that was most times we went out for me. No, yeah, <laughs> but like, no, but it was a good night because I remember, it was, I just remember being everyone, everyone being there and he, everyone was on form. Mm. And he was just, when you're 21, you've got no problem, you've got no cares really. Nah. You've got some money. You just live off £20 a week back then, didn't you? Well, yeah, it was ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I little we had and how much we spent yeah. really uh, that I used to love that of when we would go out whether it was out clubbing or just a, a big noise at a pub and that but the next day going to the calf calf yeah just the ones oh, I couldn't yeah, yeah. Was Bill's calf his, his breakfast used to slam yeah it was it, so good it was what you needed and it was on your doorstep yeah and it was, oh, when they closed down it was gutted and it was like traditional calf where your, your seats all stuck yeah, together. Yeah, proper old greasy spoon. Yeah, prices were good. Food was always good. Yeah, though, yeah. And, he was uh, a nice guy as well, wasn't he? Yeah, he was sweet, yeah. But uh, I've, I've just not found a calf as good as that. I, mean, I know silly sausages is a good calf, but it's wow. not on the same same level. I don't mind it. I'm not, I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Well, yeah. the, the, the best thing about Bill's was that like, not only was the, the portions good and like good quality like sausage and bacon yeah. and all that, but you, even though you didn't eat bacon back then, but uh, it was good brown sauce. It wasn't this watered down, yeah. runny, vinegary shit and that. It was uh, definitely the HP's brown sauce, and uh, oh. it was just always good crap. Just reminiscing. Well, yeah. I say reminiscing. It'd be more so you lads just telling me what I'd got up to while I was yeah. lagging, you know, fucking. It was, it was just needed, weren't it? Yeah. Just to soak up the rest of the toxins that were in your body. Yeah, a- after an hour, I remember, like, if it was an hour, we used to order toast while they was doing the food. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get some food. Just to start off. Yeah. Luke was out there, orange. Like, oh. Sometimes on a Saturday and Sunday morning, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, man. Yeah, because we used to go up there on a Sunday even if we didn't. Yeah, yeah. Even if we didn't go out. Yeah. Which, to be fair, that wasn't often. We was out pretty much every Friday and Saturday, weren't we? Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think just that that for me that period that that is one of the only times I remember everyone being on, everyone being on four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. That but that's the one that came to mind just on the spot, Dan. So yeah, thanks for your question. It was a good question, to be fair, because yeah. I had a quick glimpse gl- uh, gl- of it. I thought, yeah. That's good. So, to be honest, yeah, if you've got any other questions like that, fucking ping them over. Yeah. Um, you know, not just you, Dan, we do appreciate you. You know, you're... Yeah. A, you are yeah. our number one listener. Though. Yeah, you're OG. Um, it's just that uh, if anyone else has got any questions, um, 
you know, just send them over. He's the uh, uh, email address is realtalkingpod at gmail.com. Twitter is Ash and JD. Um, and obviously, yeah, we are on the YouTubes, uh, mm. Real Talking Pod. Uh, and then with anything, just, you know, just uh, like, share, uh, subscribe, all that. Um, any comments on the videos and that as well? Just, you know, if you've got any thoughts on what we should or shouldn't be doing, any topics you want us to go over. Yeah, if uh, you want to tell us how bad we are, we don't mind. Just Yeah, yeah, just any kind of you know. Because uh, I've... Just no top fives, top threes. Yeah, yeah, just top threes only. Um, uh, on Spotify and wherever you listen to it as well, just just give a little like and a like a five star review. If you Are we on Amazon? Uh, uh, yeah, we're on Amazon Music Podcasts. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, I could um, even know that. Uh, Google Podcasts we're on as well. Because uh, I don't think we're on Apple. Cause no. I don't think I've set that thing up. Fuck Apple. Fuck that. Uh, I think it's on the Samsung <laughs> podcasts as well. I really should know all yeah, these details. I'm I do apologise. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is mad, isn't it? Because I, I listen to my podcasts on Amazon. Yeah. And uh, so I'm listening to a great podcast called Why Can't We Talk About Amanda's Mom? Uh, murder mystery thing. Okay. But yeah, as a, I just listen to anything. But let me just check. <laughs> God, this is where we need yeah. some... Uh, voiceover music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the templamental of the, the podcast is on Amazon sometimes. To be fair, I don't go on it. I'll just know that we're on there. Um, oh, great. Uh, I mean, I've been Oh, on the yeah, for. top one. What, we're on the top? So when you put a real talking podcast. Oh, sorry, when you yeah. start search. I thought we were just like, boosted uh, reviews or something there. Oh, fuck, yeah. I didn't even know on that. There, kid. On there. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, wherever you listen to us on, um, just give the download as well, because the downloads is the stats that uh, mean things in this kind of realm of the interwebs. So, uh, also, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I think we need to get a, a new logo now. I have been you know, sort of brainstorming a couple of different. I, think we I mean, need to do something with 16, and 16 episodes in, yeah. you know, you know, we got we're getting emails. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> to be fair, if anyone's got a design of uh, like a, a new logo for us or yeah. uh, like any intro music or whatever, then yeah. um, I think it would be appreciated. Yeah, you know, I think now nah, get a new logo. Yeah, intro music, new funky, mm-hmm. and then we're good. Just, you know, we're doing all right. Yeah, I mean, one of these days we'll sort out the soundboard as well, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> or the gear, no idea. Oh no, definitely no idea yeah. with that. Um, well, no, that's I didn't even know it was on there, but even yeah. I didn't know. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah, just make sure you like, follow, or subscribe to any platform. Yeah, literally, you, you know, if, there, there, if there is anything that you uh, want to share with us, then yeah, send it over. We're open ears. That's the one thing when I listen to. Other podcast it grinds me in the fucking straight away. As soon as you come into the podcast, the fucking on it. Like, follow, like, follow, like. And that's something that I, I know we don't want to do. We don't want to be. Yeah, I mean, I do drop it a little bit as a mid roll when I'm yeah, yeah. to. But, but I mean, a lot it's of just that. as general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, because we do appreciate everyone that listens. Um, yeah. E- even if you just want to give, you know, just you want to shout out, well, you know. Yeah, yeah. If, if birthdays or whatever, you know, um, see us like a cameo that's free. Yeah. Uh, if, again, if you want to send us some money, like, when uh, will we start making money off this podcast? That'd be a good. Day. Probably when I put more fucking effort into it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it'd be no. Uh, it's because obviously besides the logo and that, what we discussed, there aren't really much we can do besides getting it out there. I know we're doing well. I mean, yeah, we can it's... see the numbers. We can't just see the streams. That that that'd be interesting. Yeah. So that's why I say if you can download, we, it can properly show us. How many of you are actually listening? And your location. Ooh. Yeah. Um, so, I know when it comes to monetizing it, you have to have so many uh, subscribers and downloads. Mm. Uh, it's with the YouTube, you've got to have so many views and the short clips yeah. have got to be like a million but views or something. Said, I don't think many people go to YouTube for the podcast. So, do they? Until it gets big, like until... 
Yeah. You know what? Well, I mean, because I listen to a, a good chunk on YouTube, because, um, you know, not to sound like a brag, but I pay for premium. Ooh, so I can have. What, on YouTube? Yeah. Fucking hell, mate. I know, yeah, balling. So I can have my phone locked and listen to yeah, oh the my podcast. God. I don't need to that, have to. Watch. Oh my, what? Oh my, it's worth it, actually, <laughs> in hindsight, because it fucking drives me nuts when I try to listen to some music and he have a fucking. The no ads times, as well. Yeah, no ads. Oh, adverts. fuck me. The amount of times I've done it where I've not been logged in, I'll click on a video and it's like three adverts straight away. Yeah. I'm so glad I don't have yeah. to deal with any of that. Also, anyone else done this? You know, because Netflix are clamped down on. Oh, yeah, oh, I did see it on your TV when I went to put Pokemon on right. for the other week. So. Yeah. They clamp down now, so basically, I always just hack my mum's Netflix and go off her and let her pay the 16. I think she had the top package where you, oh, yeah. you can have the 4K because it came with a Sky package. Right. So I think the top package from Netflix is 15 on one, that's 4K. Mm. So I don't watch Netflix, I think it's a bit shit now anyway, and it's a bit the same. The, the, the It's a tick box thing, but they have the odd shows and a lot yeah, of Yeah, there's strange. a few things on there that I do watch, yeah. So I, I had to get in. So the options was. Four ninety nine with ads, uh, with ten eighty HD. Six ninety nine without ads, only seven twenty HD. Now, the other one then there was one for ten ninety nine, no ads, ten eighty HD. Then the the premium one I want to say it was fifteen nine and four K, and I thought that four K can fuck off. I ain't paying fifteen quid for Netflix. Yeah, because. Between your 1080 and your 4K, unless you've got a, like, a TV that you pay thousands of pounds for, yeah. you're not noticing that difference. No, yeah, to be fair, I can see it on my TV. I, when, there's a, when there's 4K, mainly when it's Disney though, when it's Disney 4K, I can yeah. I can see it. But with Netflix, I get what you're saying, but I can see it. So, it came to the option, do I have, do I pay 1099, mm. 1080 HD, no ads. Six ninety nine, no bad. Seven twenty. That one's out the question. Yeah, no. Nah, like, I just can't go back. Nah, nah. Yeah, four ninety. Unless you're watching old cartoons all the time. Yeah, yeah. That don't need the extra high quality. Yeah. So but, went for the four ninety nine. Add breaks. I had to, mate. I just four. I can't be ten pound for this bollocks. It, especially if you're not religiously watching it nah, all day. It, so. I'd rather have it and not need it mm-hmm. than. You know, so when someone's come on, I'm like, oh, fuck, let me do it. Yeah. Do it now. So, yeah, I've, so that's the one I went for. 4 dollars 99 with ads, and it kills me. Because Discovery Plus is the worst one for that. And that's a mm. shit show. That, <laughs> I like it because I like all the crime shows. And it does yeah. have it. And I think it's, the, I might be wrong saying it. It's doing that bad in America. That's a part of Paramount TV now. So basically, it's the same part that parent company, but it's, Discovery Plus doing that bad, basically, the, if you pay for Paramount, an extra pound a month, you get that as well, which I hope to do here now. Well, I see it with uh, Prime, yes. because you can pay a little bit extra for yeah. that and, and Paramount as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, t- I don't know if it's Amazon that own it as such. Jeff but, Bezos. Yeah. Give me some money. Uh, so anyway, they're the worst for ads, because like... Again, it was like, I think I'll pay £50 for the year for that. Or with 70 quid with Ali. And I thought, I do not watch that enough to warrant. Yeah. Fuck me, the ads do. Fucking all well, That's why I don't watch normal TV anymore. I just can't stand sitting there for three, four minutes of adverts. Especially when the adverts aren't as good as what they used to be. Yeah. Which we've gone over on a previous episode. Uh, old quality adverts. And also, I feel like Amer- yeah, yeah. American, yeah, I feel like American adverts lo- loads better. Like, as a shit, I know. Yeah, a bit depressing. Yeah, but yeah, nah. Ads, no good. Podcast, anywhere yeah. besides Apple. Fuck Apple. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just say anything. Just, just let us know your thoughts. Also, this episode has been a bit. We took it where it's went. Because <laughs> we do, before we do a podcast, we don't like, like for me, we like to learn a little bit, so we're not, you know, we're not coming in completely blind. So we drop some facts in, so yeah. we know what we're on about to a degree. We but, do try and do a bit of research, basically. Yeah. But we like to be Off real talk, so it's real talk, hence the name. Yeah. So yeah, it's, this one's been a really, when I think of this one's episode one, which we touched on, 
And mate, that, I can't, I can't even bring myself to listen to that anymore. Yeah, I think it just comes with time, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. Um, it, it's not that the first episode was, episode was forced. Just the, it was just. It, the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was just. It, it's you wouldn't all, know. Yeah, it was all learning, wasn't it? You know, now, I mean, there's things that I've got under notes that we haven't even touched on because we just rambled on about crisps mm. and other stuff, and then. Uh, I mean, we was gonna finish all four minutes or so ago, and then we carried on talking yeah. about more shit. Yeah. But that's what you're here for. Yeah, that's what that's, you love. That's it. That's that's the real talk. That is the real talk. No. And the real talk is that it is the end of the episode now because mm. we've both got shit to do. Yeah. And I need a beer. <laughs> so we'll love yous and leave yous. So yeah, any emails though, please. Yeah, just send them over. Literally anything. Yeah. Um. So yeah, see you next week. Peace.